So this is in fact uh, what appears to be as per the plan is what is being said by Istro right now successfully launching the Gaganyaan test vehicle undoubtedly a big leap in human space explanation Professor Nambi Narayan is joining us this morning thank you sir so much for your time uh, this is great news uh, with the initial a bit of a dampener a while ago so now we have in fact a confirmation that the test uh, vehicle launch has been successful so your thoughts yeah i was telling in the channel that mm. it could be a minor uh, uh, anomaly and uh, if it is possible they would have rectified it and they did accordingly in my opinion i was not uh, under tension now that it is i think almost successful in the sense that we are watching the parachutes are bringing down the uh, payload and i'm sure that it will fly i think the time approximately how i don't know the timing but it's about 10 minutes uh, from the launch it should touch down so i would call it as a grand success of course this is the first step and it's very interesting that uh, i'm i am now excited that the whole thing is uh, coming down majestically i'm sure it will be touching down and then it has to be recovered i think navy will put it itself into action and then you get uh, i think it is lot of application that is what is more important this mission is more important i'm not talking about this particular experiment i'm talking about the overall gaganya mm. as a uh, lot of applications and uh, uh, it has a lot of advantages in the but then it is better that we become mastered over the whole thing I think now it is going to touch down. You see, I'm able to see that. Of course, you will be able to see it. It will be touching down as expected. We we have these beautiful pictures of the parachutes that are actually coming down, sir. Uh, you know, leaves are just so excited. At the end of the day, this is a mission uh, that's expected around the year 2025 is what is being estimated. That's the timeline, sir. Before that, there will be a series of test missions of this nature, Professor. Yeah, actually, there will be number of tests. Mm. Though they have stated that as twenty twenty uh, tests, um, this will go a long way. And uh, depends on the success of one test, uh, then you will be either skipping a test or. Uh, but I don't think they will skip any test because they will be extra careful in uh, ensuring as well as in making sure that the whole thing goes well. Because they are going to play with the human life there, mm -hmm. so that's the whole thing. Now I think it is yet to touch down. Now it is nearing, probably touching down. I'm happy. Yes. So this is so crucial. At the end of the day, you spoke about the fact that this is about humans, and there can be absolutely no room, nil room, really, for error, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, space flight is always. Uh, you know, you you have some kind of a thing which is unknown. After space itself is unknown, so you are dealing with uh, the uh, unknown element. So you will always, for example, today's whole how how nobody expected it, right? Mm -hmm. So that way you will have certain things which will come out at the last minute. So that way I am. Anyway, it is interesting. See, the whole thing is. Uh, what kind of uh, release now these guys who are sitting in the control room will be having yes so this is the first test of its kind which are the other kind of tests sir, that will be expected talk to us a little about that as well what to expect in the next few weeks and months to come sir you know this is the escape uh, module in case yes. of any mishap if the fellows are in trouble and if the fellows are uh, interested in coming back quickly and uh, this is what uh, this is most important you know the escape module should be most important mm -hmm. it must have so many systems inside uh, number of parameters which i'm sure that this particular module this particular uh, escape module must have been wired with i don't know maybe about 200 300 parameters being monitored uh, everything is a redundant parameter because they, they don't want to take any chance with that and uh, they won't understand how things will behave in a in a condition like this mm -hmm. and of course the vehicle is not the one which carried 
this one needs a Vikas engine. Of course, <laughs> I'm happy about it. The Vikas engine is nothing other than the L40, L40 version. It has some two, three different variations. They have picked up one such thing because of the reduced payload and uh, and then uh, reduced height. So I think um, that engine has never failed. So when we were worried about uh, the hole, everybody was suspecting, oh, it didn't be great. It, it does not eat fault. Mm. It was because of the computer was holding it, actually. That's right. So, anyway, I'm, I think the mission is almost, you can call it as a successful mission. Yes. Uh, there's nothing and nothing else. Yeah, of course, there is one, one more thing. When it touches down, mission, the Navy has to go and uh, pick it up. True. Okay. All right, uh, Professor Naminarayan, I'm going to thank you for joining so us with your views on that.